टीच यू चैप्टर 19 एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस ऑफ योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर गियर बुक चिल्ड्रन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू चेंज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस इनटू पैसिव वॉइस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट सो लेट्स राइट द सेंटेंस इन पैसिव वॉइस फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज राइस राइस विल कम फर्स्ट राइस here we will use the past for past auxiliary form so near rice we will write watch then the past participle form of the main verb the past participle form of the main verb it is eat and eaten so rice was eaten by who is the doer the doer is ra by ra so the answer will be rice was eaten by ra see this example radha writes stories here radha is a subject and she is the doer so this sentence is in active voice let's change it into passive voice here stories object right is the verb one first form of the verb so let's change it into passive form the object will come first stories children stories it is the plural so near stories we will write the present auxiliary r stories r after that we have to use the past participle form of the main verb here the main verb is write so write wrote written so stories are written by radha by radha children here stories are written by radha in this sentence the subject stories This is the receiver of the action indicated by the verb are written, not the doer. So we can say that this sentence is in passive form. Stories are written by Radha. It is in passive form. Children, let's see this example. Sita has done the work. Here, Sita is the subject. has is the auxiliary verb done it is the past participle form of the main verb do plus the object so children to change this type of sentence this present perfect form okay it may be has it may be have so we have to follow the structure that object while changing into passive voice we have to follow this structure the structure is object plus has or have plus been we have to take the help of been okay been plus the past participle form of the main verb plus subject okay so here object will come first object is the work the work work it is the singular so we have to take the help of singular auxiliary verb has the work has near has what we will use we will use been has been now the past participle form of the main verb the past participle form of the main verb do is done done by sita by sita okay children if in case of the past auxiliary verb suppose the sentence is sita had done the work then if we have to change this sentence into passive form then we have to write only had 
So while changing it into passive form, the object will come first. The work had near had we have to use been had been the past participle form of the main verb do done do did done by the work had been done by Sita. The work had been done by Sita. So, when in active voice has or have or had is used, then while changing it into passive form, we have to take the help of been. We have to use been with has or have or had. Okay? Children, let's take one more example. Radha is playing football. Children, here in this sentence, present continuous form is used. Okay? Radha is playing football. The structure is Radha, subject is auxiliary verb, playing main verb, plus ing. Here, football is object. So, children, while changing this type of sentence, which is in present continuous or past continuous, we have to use or we have to take the help of being. Okay? So, let's see. Here, football will come first. As football is the object. Football is. Near is, we will use being. Now, when we use being, this main verb will go to its past participle form. So, the past participle form of main verb play is played. So, now we will write played. Played by Radha. Okay? Football is being played by Radha. Here the structure is football. It is the object, object has become subject now, okay? And it's being played by Radha. Now children, suppose the sentence is Radha was playing football. Now you see, the sentence is in past continuous form. So, how can we change it into passive voice? Here also we will write football. We will write was, the auxiliary verb. Okay? Here also we will use being, was being and the main verb will uh, change it into uh, what? The past participle form. Okay? The main verb will go to its past participle form. The past participle form of verb playing is played. Or the verb play is played. Being played by Ratha. Understood? Let's see this example children. The sentence is they will do the work. Okay? So, here we can see that the sentence is in is now in simple future form. Okay. The subject will do. Okay. Will is the auxiliary verb. Do is the main verb. The work object. So if we have to change this sentence into passive voice, then the structure will be object plus will or shall here will is there so we will use will only then plus the b we will use b plus the past participle form of the main verb the past participle form of the main verb plus the subject okay so, the sentence will be the work. Object will come first. The work. Here will is used. So, we will write will 
if sal is used here then we have to write here sal okay but as will is used here so that's why we will use will next be then the past participle form of the main verb do is done by then by then the work will be done by then okay 